to power a naked camera on the DJI FPV drone. That coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today we're going to talk about how you can install a naked camera on the DJI FPV drone. Just to keep in mind, this is going to void your warranty if you do have one, so keep that in mind. Do this at your own risk. Obviously, I will not take responsibility for any uh, mishaps you might have. Uh, if you follow along, you should do okay, though. Uh, obviously, there's not any easy place to connect a, uh, a camera cable uh, like this to be able to power these naked cameras that don't have batteries in them. Uh, so we're going to go through the process on how to do that today. A few tools that you're going to need. You are going to need a uh, one and a half millimeter screwdriver. You're going to need a soldering iron, some solder. Uh, and a flux pin. If you don't have one, uh, there will be links down in the description below. Uh, this is the pine sill soldering iron. Very good soldering iron. Also links down in the description below. I know you guys usually ask what type of tools I use, so here we go. Other things that you're going to need are obviously a mount to mount your camera. This is a mount that we manufacture. You can see it's already been installed. It's kind of curved. Uh, when you get this, it lays flat, but uh, it will conform over time to the canopy itself. And you will need a couple of cables. You will need the cable that is appropriate for your naked camera. In this case, this is the uh, GoPro Hero 10 Blackbones cable, also available on our website. Uh, link in the description. Uh, and then I am going to be using an XT30 connector uh, to solder up to the drone itself. And then I will have the, uh, the mating end of the XT30 uh, connected to this end to be able to uh, unplug and plug it back in when I am not using it. Now the first thing we need to do when we get to get started, we need to take a one and a half millimeter Allen wrench. One did come with your drone. If you do not have one, it should have been in your box. Uh, or you can use a uh, driver like this. This is the wow stick. Uh, very good for removing screws. Uh, to remove the canopy, you do need to remove a series of eight screws. You have two here on each side and then two here on each side. All right, so first, uh, after we remove those eight screws, we do need to remove this plastic portion. This will just pop right off, just like that. And then we need to remove the canopy itself. Uh, you can see I've already popped these out, and it's uh, basically just uh, use something plastic to pry these out. Once you do that, all these little pins will come unclicking, Oop, and there goes your canopy. So after the canopy is off, we need to remove this back, uh, back heat sink. So you're going to remove two uh, one, two, three, four screws here, and then there are two screws right down here on the inside. It is this screw and the one right next to it, that screw right there. So once those, once those six screws are removed for the back heat sink, you can remove this back cover. And the heat sink may not come with it. Uh, it may still be sitting there. Uh, there is some thermal tape underneath this, uh, so you can just carefully pry that up. Try to keep the thermal tape in uh, much of one piece as possible, unless you plan on replacing it. All right, so now that we have that off, the two points that we're going to be soldering to are this spot right here and this spot right here. This is the VBAT spot and this is the ground spot. So VBAT means that it is coming at the full 22.2 volts that a six cell battery has, that the uh, DJI FPV battery is. And so you need to make sure that uh, before you go any further soldering this, that the camera that you intend on using this does have a built-in uh, BEC to regulate the voltage uh, so it can take up to six volt, or I'm sorry, so it can take up to six cell voltage. Um, so in my case, I'm going to be using Hero 10 Blackbones or also the Gep RC Naked Hero 8. Those are two, my two cameras of choice. Uh, so I will be able to use that on both of those because those can all go from two to six cell voltage. While my soldering iron heats up, uh, we also need a hobby knife or a Dremel tool. Uh, we are going to have to modify one small piece uh, and we're basically just going to be taking two small notches uh, out of this cover plate uh, so the wire can go through. 
Another important thing to mention, you notice I just did just put my battery in. I did not connect it though. That just helps keep it up so the camera can see it. Uh, make sure your battery is not connected while you're doing this soldering work. Uh, you don't want to short anything out. Uh, so keep that unplugged. Uh, do not plug that in. All right, so the first thing we need to do, I would suggest cleaning these two contacts with rubbing alcohol. Uh, make sure it's 100% or uh, well, actually 70% or greater isopropyl rubbing alcohol will work. Uh, you just want to clean those contacts, any grease or dirt that might be on them. Uh, you can use isopropyl rubbing alcohol or a Q-tip. Uh, I'm just going to use an alcohol prep pad. I always have those handy. Once that is dry, we can go ahead and take our flux pin and we can put just a dab on each of those two contacts. And then we need to use a rosin core solder in order to tend these two spots. Uh, currently I have my tip temperature is at about 380 degrees. Um, what we need to do is just put, put our tip on that and then we will hit that with a bead of solder. All right, that's a nice bead right there. And then same thing on the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up just a tad. Make sure you don't hit any of these MOSFETs or anything around the perimeter. This is an XT30 connector. Uh, I need to go ahead and just tin these two tips. Uh, so I'm just gonna use my helping hands to do that. So just set your uh, soldering iron on the wire and then touch the solder to the wire until it starts soaking it in. And repeat the same step for the other one. All right, so now again, the battery side, the VBAT side is over here and the ground is over here. So it will go in in this orientation. And I'm going to have the pigtail exit the rear of the aircraft. got one in there and we got the other in there so now we want to make sure we're not going to short anything out so I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of uh, thermal tape on top of this and just leave the uh, the adhesive cover on and I'm going to try not to cover any of the MOSFETs on this board, power distribution board. So there's a piece there. And there we go. All right, so now we just test fit, make sure that this heat sink sits on there well. And then next step we need to do, we do need to cut two small notches, the diameter of the wire in this, so it can just sneak through. All right, so now you can choose to use a hobby knife or a Dremel. Uh, looks like the best spot will be just on the inside of those two clip retainers. Uh, and then I'm just gonna cut a small cut right out of that. All right, there's one side. All right, and there's the other side. Go ahead and start by putting these back screws in. All 
right, so there's those back four screws. We need to remember to install the two back here on the underside. And now it's just time to put the uh, cover back on. Canopy. Make sure your canopy clicks into place with all the clips. All right, that piece is good. Install the fake vent and gimbal protector. All right, and then uh, we need to put our mount on for our naked camera. Uh, in this case, I will refer you to the installation instructions up here in a video on how to install this uh, straight from our website if you don't have one of these, or you install your own mount of choice. Now again, make sure you don't over tighten these. All right, and lastly, we need to install uh, the last uh, two screws here on either side and these two screws here. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and mount up the camera so I know roughly what length cable I will need. Now I'm gonna make a one of these cables for each of the different type of uh, naked cameras that I have. So this will be the one for the GoPro Hero 10 Black Bones. Lengths of cables might vary between cameras. Obviously the connectors vary. That's about the angle I normally fly with, so we know we need to go from here to here. So it looks like we need to cut about this much off. All right, at this point we can also go ahead and remove the yellow cable because we are not going to be using the yellow cable on this harness. So all I do to do that is just pry up one of these small teeth for the yellow one, slide the cable out, push that tooth back down, and we're good to go. So usually for these lighter gauge wire you can just use your fingernails to strip these. I'm just using a wire stripper for sake of convenience and twist the ends together all right and while my uh, soldering iron heats up again I'm going to go ahead and remind you to put some heat shrink tubing on this wire all right and we will go ahead and tin both these wires Keep in mind, if you've never soldered XT30 or XT60 connectors, each of them are marked positive and negative. Let me go ahead and fill the solder well now. This is the positive side. And that is ready to go. We'll let it cool and we will finish with our heat shrink tubing. All right, and that is what our final cable looks like. Uh, so when we're not flying with a naked camera, we can simply just unplug this, leave it off. When we want to power the naked camera, we plug that into there and we plug in the camera to our adapter. 
and there it is. So you do want to make sure that your props will obviously never be able to hit these wires. Uh, if they can, you might want to secure them or tape them somehow. All right, so now everything's plugged in. We can go ahead and power up. All right, and we saw the status light on the camera flash red. That's a good sign. And we'll go ahead and power on the camera. And it is powered on. We'll go ahead and hit record. And it is recording. All right, so that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'd be glad to help you out. All products used in the making of this video are down in the description below. If there are any that I miss, feel free to drop a comment and I will help you out. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.